Alright YouTubers, this is just for you because there's lots of shitty videos and very few of those shitty videos even cover the PT Cruiser 2002 PT Cruiser inner tie rod. As you can see, I've got the boot off. I've got the new one installed. Take a quick look. Okay, we're going to do our best with the focusing here. So here's the tie rod. I'll back out so you can take a look. Here's our tie rod. We're replacing the inner. This guy right here. Now this factory one did not have any notches on the back. Let me show you what that means. Here's the factory. See the back side of this? There's no notches here. None. The tool you get from the, har the parts store looks like this. That's all these neat clamps that grab the tool from the back. But they only work if your tie rod end, excuse me, inner has these notches cut into it. And as you can see, our good friends over at Chrysler PT Cruiser didn't bother to do that. This bitch is straight. So, you have to buy this tool. I think it's called a Leslie tie rod end puller, tie rod inner puller. The link of the link below for the description. One, two, three bolts. This is how it works. You slip it over your tie rod. As you can see, this is the inner tie rod. We'll grab a hold of it. You tighten down your three bolts with a very short Allen wrench that comes with it and bada bing you got a way to get that thing out of there. End of part one. Okay I'm going to show you guys what's been taken off. Here's the inner CV boot. PT Cruiser 2002. Regular old boot. Small side is the outside. Big side is the inside. And it's got this drain or air vent thing on the bottom. That has a clamp on it. I just literally had to rip mine off, cut it in pieces to get it off, and the metal clamp that held on the big one, I destroyed it as well, and it was replaced with a auto parts store pipe clamp, which looks something like this. Pipe clamp. This one happens to be nice because it has a removable little key allows you to tighten it up in very tight situations which you will want this because it is a very tight situation up and in there this works great so let's assemble this thing we'll call this part four because I don't know how long it get for YouTube there we are okay part four we have our outer tie rod it goes down here in the wheel to get it out I just banged on this and the baby popped right out I counted the number of turns for me it turned out to be 33 and a half to get me back to where I was before I had the unfortunate accident that messed up my suspension. So when you're taking this apart, one thing to note, I'll use this pointer that's otherwise known as a hammer. Hope you guys can see this. You got your uh, ball and socket joint here for the inner, see right here. Just behind this is a white plastic spacer of some sort it's one inch long it's the same diameter and it appears as though it was cut or split by force or if it was split at the factory they just broke it because it looks broken but this is uh, basically keeps itself on to get it apart I put a screwdriver right through the cut that goes this way I put a screwdriver in there twisted it and then pushed it back that allowed me to gain access to the notches where I could use my rental tool to tighten it up. So here we go, reassembly really quick guys. We're going to put on our clamp first because there won't be the ability to do that afterwards. By the way, I have the steering rack all the way out. All the way out. Right now, just to show you. Boots going in with the drain to the bottom. Drain, air vent, I don't know what it is. Anyway, we're sliding this baby on as far as we can get it. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to turn the car and suck that baby in.
We're gonna finish pushing that boot as much as we can. The rest of it's gonna be underneath. Part five. All right, YouTubers, are you with me? Yep. All right, got the locking nut in place. I've lubed the shit out of this. Push the rubber boat on there just so I don't get it messed up. And I gotta screw this on 33 and a half turns. One, two, 33. I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> All right, YouTubers, thanks to the magic of uh, technology here. Look at, I got that baby screwed on 33 and a half times. Let's drop it in the hub. I'm gonna put that baby in there. Come on, get in there. Down it goes. It came with a brand new nut, which is excellent. I just happen to have a framing gun impactor. I'm going to use that. Because it works really well. Okay. And then I'll put in my locking key. And uh, basically tighten up my nut, which is way back here. Tighten up my retainer nut as tight as I can while holding the flanges of this. So I'll grab this with one and I'll tighten up the nut with another crescent wrench. And that's it my friends. Happy trails. Good luck. 2002 PT Cruiser. Inner tie rod. Outer tie rod. Piece of shit. But we'll get it going. Bye. All right, YouTubers, I ran into a problem here. Let me show you what I got. Down here on the outer tie rod, I'll try and zoom in and give you a peek. There's a nut that holds that lower tie rod ball joint. The one they gave me is not very big. Here it is. So when I tighten this baby all the way up like I was supposed to, the hole for the pin didn't even touch the nut. You see, that's kind of a problem. So, I'm going to use the old one that came with the original. Hopefully they're the same threads. I'm pretty sure they are. Because this one is longer by a good quarter of an inch. May, well, maybe a fat eighth of an inch. But you can see, hopefully, that they are longer. One is longer than the other. Let's see if you can see that. Alright, well take my word, the one is longer than the other, so I'm going to use it. It's also a different size socket. I need to get the right size socket. So let me run that bad boy up there and see if our problem is solved. And our problem was we had no way to lock it. Okay. Now according to the directions I've seen, to get the pin to line up, you go tighter. That's it. 